Reverend Chief Reese. Thank you so much. Hi there, I'm Chief. And um, I'm really honored to be asked what my thoughts are on sustainable peace um, for a couple of reasons. One, as a woman, and two, as a gay woman, because we're pretty invisible, although not today. I'm trying to bust the move here. <laughs> um, sustainable peace is a very interesting concept. And for me, the idea of being personally in tune with both the divine feminine and the divine masculine is where it really begins. And the reason it is that way for me is because in my lifetime and in everyone else's lifetime here, we live in certain structures that are patriarchal. And it divides people. It divides people through the feminine and the masculine. And each male and female person suffers the consequences of that. And we're bereft of what the, the blending of the divine feminine and masculine is. Because within the divine feminine is contained the masculine and the feminine. And within the masculine is contained the feminine and the masculine. And when we're able to be able to reconcile that within ourselves, as I have in my lifetime, because as a gay woman, I knew I was gay from a very early age. And the only way I thought that I could, I didn't know it had a word, I was, you know, just a little one. The only way I thought that that could really be okay was if I was a man. And thank God, you know, I was able to work that stuff through over the years. But this was back in the 50s. And so there was no gay, there was no transgender, there was just queer. And I didn't want to be that. And so being able to reconcile what my own sexuality is, and it's not just about sexuality, it's about my perspective on the world in terms of how the structures exist and and. permute all of our ways of being. And so, being able to find out that I was actually misogynistic, even though I loved women as a lesbian, I had very male attitudes because I was, I found myself aligning myself with men, because men had the power, period. What I've grown to understand is that men don't have the power. Matriarchy is not the answer to patriarchy. The inversion of that is not right because it's still an imbalance. So what I'm working toward within myself is a continued blending of the divine feminine and the divine masculine, which I then reflect back into the world. And this is how, on a global level, if we could start to bring those balances that we can develop within ourselves, bring them out to the world, in our practices, in our sacred activism, if we could bring that and reflect that back into the world, we will impact subtly, but profoundly. And I believe that love is really the answer, because if we can have that divine love within ourselves, for ourselves, then we can have that for others. So love is the engine, and respect and compassion is the fuel. Thank you.